Hi, my name is Kathy Foster, and I'm a member of St. John's Episcopal Church in Columbus. This particular property behind me is on Avondale, and it's been vacant for over eight years. And as bad as it looks now, it's been recently cleaned up, which is really sad. Uh, this represents about one in four houses, one, at least one in five, possibly one in four houses in uh, the Franklinton community. Now what's particularly interesting to me about this house is that right across the street is Avondale Elementary School. And it's been millions of dollars have been put in, into it to renovate it, fix it up. It looks beautiful. It really kind of looks like a fortress for our children. But when the school bell rings and the kids walk out of school, they are walking right past this property and a lot of other properties just like it. Um, Reverend Leanne, our rector at St. John's, has witnessed many, many, many drug deals going down here. I've witnessed myself some drug deals going down here. And um, we don't, it's frustrating because we don't know what, how a house can sit like this for eight years and nothing can be done about it. And that's why we're so excited about the County Land Bank possibility that is gonna, it's more than a possibility, it's gonna happen and Brett is gonna make sure that it happens. One of the things that the research committee was asked to do was to, for everybody to take um, a certain number of pictures of blighted and vacant homes in their neighborhoods. And uh, my husband Craig and I um, decided uh, one day after street church that we were going to spend an hour and go around the neighborhood and take our recommended number of pictures. And we discovered after about 10 minutes that we had more pictures than we needed because we only had to go up and down two streets. Um, to get the severely uh, blighted homes um, that were really kind of horrendous to have to look at. They, in some cases, charred, burned down, very dangerous. Discovered later there's no money to demolish these homes. I'm Craig Foster and I'm deacon at St. John's Episcopal Church in Columbus, Ohio. Um, and we have recently got involved in working with the city and county through the Bread Organization in implementing a county land reutilization corporation. This is new legislation which provides uh, for what would be called an active land bank that can help us address, prop address properties like the one behind me. Um, before the legislation was passed in March, um, only passive land banks existed and basically they got the worst of the worst properties and had no money to deal with them. With the new legislation, the uh, CLRC can get the property before sheriff sale and make strategic decisions about how it's used. And the other problem is there's been no money in the past. Uh, under the new legislation, this corporation can use both the penalties and interest from late taxes, which can amount to millions of dollars for a county like Franklin County, and uh, rather than sell tax liens for very overdue taxes to corporations in Nebraska or Florida as it's been in the past, the CLRC or County Land Reutilization Corporation can uh, collect that money and those additional fees and penalties. So not only does it offer a solution to do strategic planning and uh, work on properties that need revitalization through uh, rehab, um, safe uh, storage of them for several years, or demolition, but it also has a funding source which is no new taxes uh, for uh, our constituency.